Hey the break room classic film fans, it's tea time for a coffee break. Welcome to another Fashion Friday guys and dolls. This week we are finally hitting my favorite garment of all that I have made so far in my collection. My Catherine Hepburn inspired the Philadelphia Story-esque garment made by one of my favorite, if not my favorite, number one favorite golden age of Hollywood designer, costume designer, Adrian. One name, that's all you need. And you get a visual right there. You, you're thinking Joan Crawford, you're seeing Greta Garbo. You, you know the films like that pop into your mind immediately just by that one word. And I love it. I guess I get goosebumps when I think of Adrian and his garments. Um, the Philadelphia Story is not only <laughs> not only one of my favorite films ever, um, it's one of my earliest uh, film memories. Like most of you probably, um, classic films have always been a part of my life. Um, I can't pinpoint a time, it's just always been there. The Philadelphia Story is one of those early memories that I have. Growing up, I, I, you might have heard me talk regularly on my Twitter page, that I had like your your five or six basics, um, female actors and male actors that you just always knew growing up, like your your essentials, these are your fundamentals. Um, and that for me was Cary Grant, James Stewart, Gregory Peck, Gary Cooper, and Clark Gable. Those were outside of Paul Newman and Marlon Brando, which I was lucky enough to have have been brought into the world, why, why they were still around. So um, seeing Paul Newman on David Letterman <laughs> used to be like, used to be a highlight, like, yes, he's, he's, he's on. Like, I see your face in the grocery store. Um, so, so anyhow, those were like the five male actors that I just, I just, I knew growing up. So seeing Cary Grant walk behind Ruth Hussey and James Stewart when they're going down the corridor in the Philadelphia story. Just that is a highlight. It is a film memory that I I have and and remember even at an early age getting goosebumps seeing them walk down the corridor together, knowing like these are like really like these are not just big names, but these are like the biggest names in in, in classic Hollywood. And that registered with me, and it only grew as I grew up watching it. I still, I get goosebumps when I see it. Um, the older I got, the more you start getting into uh, the the backgrounds, the workings of the films that you love, and then you're introduced to Adrian, which doesn't take much effort because you see a garment on screen and you're like, I wonder who made that. And then it, it starts to be identifiable, like, yeah, that's Adrian, that's Adrian, that's Adrian. Just like Edith Head or Ori Kelly, William Trevia, and Walter Plunkett, who actually, Catherine Hepburn's Adam's Rib is my favorite wardrobe of hers outside of the Philadelphia story. Now, let's, let's make this clear. I do post that Adam's Rib, for me, is my favorite wardrobe um, I've seen Catherine Hepburn wear. And I'm always getting, but you forgot about the Philadelphia story. You, what about the Philadelphia story? You didn't mention the Philadelphia. The Philadelphia story is a class of its own. <laughs> I'm not included. This is outside of the Philadelphia story. I'm talking outside of the Philadelphia story. Adam's Rib, for me, is my ca favorite Catherine Hepburn wardrobe love love the cut love the style i love how she she rocks it i love how she brings her flair her style to it um without even trying it's just as boss like she's not even trying my favorite katherine hepburn film summertime if you have not watched summertime with the incredible david lean please watch it i envy you if you have not seen summertime yet that is my favorite Katherine Hepburn film. It's a film memory I I won't forget. I see every time I think of Summertime, I instantly think of the first time I saw it. I'm one of those people who have to have the lights out, as we discussed last week with Meet Me in St. Louis. I have to have the lights out 
particularly on a on a good film and especially if it's a new to me film and I see that it's getting good uh, it gripped me it ground me in my seat I did not move from the screen I was in awe I loved summertime and also I'm sure most classic film fans have seen this but if you haven't please please while we're all in self-isolation make this a priority and that is um, Katherine Hepburn's one of her first not the first, but one of her first and rare interviews on the Dick Cavett show. I love the spontaneity of that interview because she was not sure if she wanted to do it. So she wanted to come in and see, get a feel of what we're doing here. What does it look like? How comfortable am I? And it just started, it just started rolling into the interview. I always encourage people to watch that who may not, they may not be big fans of Katherine Hepburn if you bring her up and they're like oh well I can I'm like okay watch Summertime and watch her interview on the Dick Cavett show it is one of my favorite interviews ever from a classic film star classic film actor it is one of my favorite interviews um I love watching that I love I love hearing her talk it's just her her energy her vitality her her personal um outlook is something that stays with me after I watch it. Like I feel like lifted <laughs> after I've seen it, which right now I think we could all use. So um, if you do have the, for the love of heaven, if you do have the Philadelphia Story uh, on Criterion, it is a it is a two disc. I don't know if you will be able to see it. This is a it's a two disc um, DVD, and on the second disc, on the second disc um, is the interview with her with Dick Cavett. It's a two part interview, and as well as George Cukor, he is also on here with uh, the Dick Cavett um, interview. He interviews uh, George Cukor as well. I totally recommend. Also recommend Summertime. That's also on Criterion to pick that up while we're in self isolation and watch it. But I'm sure classic film fans, especially longtime veterans, these things are already in your in your DVD library. So if you're new to classic films, if you're trying to find a place in classic film, these are really good places to start. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave it here for this Fashion Friday. I hope you guys are being safe out there, be well, be healthy, stay home, and I will see you next time for another Fashion Friday. Until then, a bientôt. Shut up, shut up. Oh my, keep talking, keep talking, talk, will you? What's taking so long? I keep seeing my notifications pop up. And I turn them off, so I don't understand why they keep popping up on my phone. Okay, so anyway. Put me in your pocket.